I'm Makeup Deborah Hannigan and in today's video I'm actually really excited about this because I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. Um, today I'm going to be talking skincare and I'm going to be doing basically what my routine is in the morning and what my routine is at night. The both of them are slightly different and I am in no way an expert um, in skincare. This is just products that I genuinely just like um, and I've been wanting to do it because I know that there's a lot of influencers out there that have their skincare routines up but then you go to look at it and it's actually sponsored so you don't really know if they're actually really loving those products or they're just paid to say that they like them who knows so anyway this video is in no way sponsored um so everything that you see is something that i genuinely like so without further ado let's get started <laughs> okay so first things first i'm actually going to get this hair out of the road because that just gets in the way i thought i'd wear a robe today as well because i thought it was more Oh, like in case you're wondering penny's best i think i got it for like maybe 50 cent on sale or something i have a bulb water right here to wash it all off with okay so the first thing that i'm going to start with is my dermalogica this is the special cleansing gel um i was looking at the back for the ingredients but i actually threw the box out so i couldn't really tell you about the ingredients we'll just get this on i'll show you exactly what i do so i like this one here because um i'm not really into creams for like washing my face this is like a gel consistency and it, it foams up which i like so i just kind of like gently massage it under my hands and then just start in the cheeks and it's really important that you are gentle with your skin because you really 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 don't want to be going too rough because the rougher that you go the more pulling and tugging and things like that there is not good for your skin you're going to age way quicker than you should but i think a lot of aging is to do with genetics like if you have good genes then you're elected like i have pretty decent genes like my mom's pretty good looking for her age and stuff like so i'm hoping it stays that way but that's not to say that i'm not going to be getting like botox and stuff because as soon as quarantine is over get me booked in because i can't wait to get there's a line there that comes you know when the sun comes and it really really bugs me so yeah i'm not saying you just have to go and do that but it's just something that i'm going to do so i'm just going to lather that all in i start with the face and i just gently rub that all in isn't it wouldn't it be so lovely to get this spa right now <laughs> and i read somewhere actually just getting another wee pump and lathering it up and i literally scrub on that neck as well but like obviously going gentle and i bring it right down to the chest i read somewhere that a, a girl she was a dermatologist or something it was one of the comment sections in the uh one of a youtube video and she says i've been studying skin for like years and she says bring it right down to that and i was like oh my god i didn't know that so i just started doing it then so okay so once you have that like into the skin you're going to take your wee face cloth and just gently take that foam off um one thing i would say though is like double cleanse is really important because you really want to get right in there with the dirt especially if you're wearing makeup oh my god get right on there and i gently pat the product off you don't want to be going rubbing it like that i know it's really hard not to do that but if you can do not do not do that because you're only going to add to like aging for sure um the more gentle you are with your skin on your face the better definitely especially around the eye area oh my god do not be scrubbing that eye i know it's really hard though whenever you have um eyeshadow and stuff on and mascara and we're all guilty of it like i do it myself but it's just the more i get into skincare and the more i do my regime i know that that is not good for the skin so yeah okay now once you've that removed okay um i love this product here this here is a multi vitamin thermofolian oh, can't say that thermofolient am i saying that right thermofolient i think i am um this is from the age smart range um look there is people out there that say you know scrubs are not good for your face you have to be very careful and i do agree with that but Sometimes I just find a scrub is needed sometimes um, and everyone is different and I'm not recommending you to go out and just buy this right away. Look into your scrubs. If you're somebody who like, likes a scrub, definitely I'll recommend this to you for sure. Again, I think there is some perfumes in it. It does have a wee slight smell. It's not very perfumey though. Um, the texture of this is 
a little bit gritty but oh my god when you put it on you can definitely feel the wee tiny tiny it's almost as smaller than grains of sand i would say um but a lot of people i actually seen um that go for more like peels and stuff nowadays but anyway i like this i'm not a skincare expert like i say but i like this and i start with the nose area i used to always think that i had loads of blackheads and i was like why can i and by the way this is really gentle pressure but getting right down on there the nostrils and right out the cheeks anyway what i was saying to you was i used to think i had blackheads and the more i looked on it, i thought my blackheads don't look like that but anyway what they are is so they're called like sebaceous fragments or something i don't know i'll leave the name in the description box so that's what i seem to have and you know what's really annoying there's like experts saying actually do you know what you're just gonna have to live with it and i'm like but i want to live with it i don't want to have these wee black things on my head that aren't blackheads like blackheads you can remove these are just you they you don't get to move them so i was like i was like oh my god i don't want that that's so sad i'm so sad about that but anyway taking care of your skin is pretty important so this anyway is my routine and I always start with a face down the neck and go on to the chest. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave it here at the face so we can move on pretty quickly. Um, what I would say though is don't use this every day. Do not use this every day. This is once a week. I want to say twice, but I don't think you're meant to. But once a week is plenty for this bad boy here. Because you don't, you want to check off the, de the dead skin cells, but you don't want to um, aggravate the new and upcoming cells that are pushing out. So yeah, I would only use this once a week. That's what I would recommend for you folks anyway. What I like to go on then with is my eye cream. This is Stress Positive Eye Lift. I mean, does eye creams even work? Who the hell knows? But I just use this anyway. Um... I, sw I swear they do, but then I don't know if they do. Does that make any sense? Like, I think that there's something happening, but it could just be the moisturizer because I think that moisturizer does the same thing, apparently, anyway. But I just like to give that a wee, like, dabble on and very, very gently. Your eye area has the thinnest amount of skin around it, so you have to be very careful. Like, you don't want to be aging around there. So just dab that on. Normally with your ring finger or just give it, like, a wee tap like that, which is nice, and I mean so gently. But your ring finger um, will apply it gently anyway. So, and I just do the eyelids as well. And once I have that bit done, then I use my multi active toner, which is Dermalogica again. I'm sorry, I know, but I just actually really like these products. Um, and I just. it like so and what I do then is I make sure my hands are nice and clean and just like pat that right under the skin making sure she seeps in all I need now is a glass of wine hear me I don't even drink wine but sound good <laughs> so once you have your toner put on I'm gonna go in then with oh, this is, I love 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 this cream here it's the skin smoothing cream um powered by active hydra mesh technology no idea what that means would I even read that? Who knows? But I just like the way this feels on my skin. This here moisturizer here is, I want to say lightweight, but has it, it really hydrates my skin. Always go back to this moisturizer. Um, that's not to say that I won't try other ones, but for now, I am absolutely obsessed with this one here. So yeah, especially because I'm combination skin. Like my skin, one day it is oily, the next day it is dry. Um, T-zone is oily. And then I'd be dry all around here and it's like, what moisturizer am I supposed to be using? And I'm probably supposed to be using two, but this is just the stuff that I like. And this works for me. This actually works. And you know what else? I was, oh, I don't know, Christmas time anyway, I was, oh my God, did I just burp? I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, at Christmas time, I was really neglecting my skin and all I had was like gift sets that people were giving me and I was just using stuff out of them, which was fine. But then I started to notice my skin getting really bad and I was like, no, I really need to get back my Dermalogica because for my wedding, I was using the Dermalogica and it, my skin felt and looked great. But then at Christmas and, you know, even last year, I was neglecting it and it just didn't look the same. So I started my facial regime again. I started... Um, using my Dermalogic again and I notice a difference. Now that's not to say you all, I'm just saying that I do and I actually really like the products. 
Anyway, moving on. What I do next then is, I don't know why, but I just love this stuff here. It's like water. When I first used it and I sprayed it on myself, I was like, oh, this is water. But apparently it's very good for your skin because it's thermal spring water and it has an anti-irritant effect on the skin and it has a smoothing effect. It actually says here at the back, you can use this on sunburn, you can um, use it in facial redness, you can use it in razor burns and for hair removal. Um, but I did look at the ingredients and it's, I don't know the name. I'm looking at this and I'm not sure, right? Okay, so it says, I think it's, it, Avian? Anyway, that thermal spring water, that's the only ingredient plus nitrogen. Does it work? Does it do anything to skin? Who knows, but I like the way it feels. I just think it gives that extra hydration, which I'm in there. And do you know what? Do you see if you have radiators in your house and you're using them? I put this on and I just feel rehydrated straight away. Does it work? I have no idea, but I like it. So that is the next step for my skincare during the day. I really hope you enjoyed the first part of my skincare routine. Um, for the second part, I'm gonna go and film another YouTube video. So I'm gonna have makeup on and then I'm gonna come back to this video and continue with my nighttime regime. So yeah, back in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back and I do have a full face of makeup on me. I am just about to take my lashes off and get right into my nighttime skin routine. I was just away recording my last video there. So now that I have a full face of makeup, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to take all, all of this off. Um, right, okay, so this product, I just, I actually really love it. It is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter, which is this here. I don't know if you can see, because the light is pretty bright. Um, yeah. So yeah, the reason why it looks dug out is because I had like false nails on and I could never like, get on to do that. So I had to dig her out. Now I will say one thing before I start because some people may come at me for this. There is a perfume and things in this here that you may not like. Um, or if you have an issue with putting perfumes and stuff like that on your face, then this is probably not the product for you. But the thing I will say though is the Body Shop does do a non-perfume range, which I think is amazing. And not only that there, what did I read? Or what did I see about the Body Shop? But they actually, when they source their ingredients for their products, they make sure that there's no uh, slave labor. And I just, to be honest with you, I think that's amazing. Um, so if you wanna go and check out the Body Shop, they have absolutely some beautiful products, but I'm gonna show you how this works. The Dermalogica does have a pre-cleanse, but it's a little bit pricey. And this was just 11 euro, I believe it was. So I thought, well, do you know what? This will do the job. Um, so I'm just gonna open it up and show you how it works. So you just take a bit in your hand. There's actually lipstick and everything on this. The one thing I will say though is I, I prefer like a pump or something, but this is fine because this actually is like a butter. But where do you see this? It really just melts away all your makeup. Just doing it nice and gently. You don't have to be really rough with this. Um, but this is just what I do to get it all off. Um, because I have to go near, near the eye area, I'm just gonna take another wee amount. Um, and just work that into my hands first and then start to just gently tick off all of that. I mean, look at that. Eyeshadow being very gentle around your eye area because we don't want to rub it really hard or anything. Can you just cope with the way that that just ticks that off? And I mean, I didn't even put water in this. There's no water in this. This is just literally the butter. So I'm just going to work that right into the skin. I don't know what I look like right now. <laughs> something out of a Batman film going right down the neck as well because you want to get all that makeup off. Okay, once you've all that melted into your skin, what I do then is I take my Human and Kind face cloth that looks like it's not clean, but I promise you it is. It is literally out of the wash, but because I use it so much, I genuinely think it's stained. <laughs> And I was like, will I bring this on or will I not? But I like literally have this here for so long, like months and months and months. And I think genuinely it's, it's, it's probably a time for a new one. But this, you don't even need product with. You can literally just put this under the what tap, get some water and take off your makeup. It's that good. But I just like to use it with the product. And this is wet by the way, guys. Okay, now that I have that step completed, I'm gonna go on now with my special cleansing gel once again. 
and this is just because I think definitely 100% when you're wearing makeup, you need a double cleanse because you're not gonna have all your makeup off and that's just the blunt of it. So I'm just gonna lather that up together and start gently massaging it onto the face, making sure you get a good, good, clean face. Do you see if the double cleanse doesn't take off all your makeup? Go on for a third cleanse, that's what I do anyway. Make it sure you get your ears because I think a lot of people forget to clean their ears. I like I'm not hooking in the ear, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of like at the outside of it. But because there's makeup there, you need to get that off as well. This stuff, I'm just gonna go up and around the eye area. I'm not actually gonna go on my eyes for this. And I see there's some green uh, still left on it, so I can go on with my hand my lens and butter to address that. I don't know about the rest of these, but I'm obsessed with products and makeup. What is your favorites? I wanna know what people's favorites are. I love when people text me and they're like, did you ever try such and such? Cause I really like trying stuff. And the more I watch YouTube, the more I'm like, oh my God, I wanna buy this. Oh my God, I wanna buy that. <laughs> it's really terrible, isn't it? When you start watching things like that. So because my eye area is still not completely clean, I'm gonna go on with my Body Shop Cleansing Butter again. And I'm just gonna really lightly clean around the eyes. And this is gentle enough for the eye area as well. Or so I've been told, am I? Well, I've been using it around my eyes and nothing's been happening. That's very severe. <laughs> So I'm assuming that's okay to be using. Um, once I have that all off, then I'm like one with a slight wee small cleanse again, because I don't really want this butter kind of sitting on my face. So I'm just gonna go on with another cleanse. Only because I'm wearing makeup. If I wasn't wearing makeup, I wouldn't do as many steps. If I only use the chamomile body butter for actually taking off my makeup. I don't really use it if I, I don't have makeup on. Like, when you think you're clean, you're not really. So it's good to use white <laughs> sometimes to see how clean you actually are. Okay, so once you have that and you're sure that you are complete and utterly cleaned up, I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use a wee bit of kitchen roll just to kind of pat my skin dry. I do not wanna rub that face with kitchen roll. <laughs> just to kind of like close up the pores as I like to use the multi active toner again. Again, let that kind of like seep in and dry. I Again, go on with my skin soothing cream. And then at night, this is optional for you guys, but this is what I use. And I have read that this is really good for your skin, but then there's other things that are saying, no, don't put like oils on your face. So I actually don't know what to believe, but I just know when my skin's dry, this helps. So this here is a rose hip seed oil. And what I do is just give it a one wee pump in the hand or maybe two and kind of like rub it under your hands and just kind of like dab it on the skin. What I would say though is I wouldn't do this every night because I wouldn't want this to like block my pores or anything. So this is just really when my skin's really dry that I do this step. Honestly guys, I notice a wild difference when I use this when my skin's dry. Say like I'm dry and flaky up here and I use that there couple of weeks and my skin is really nice and juicy looking. Oh, I do know that I have products sitting over here, which we're just gonna pretend is not really here and just push them out of the way. Like, where is that? Which product is that? This one? Move that out of the way, move that out of the way. So there you have it guys, my skin routine. Um, That is genuinely what I use. That is what I am using at the minute. I am however on the hunt for, for like some newbie products. So um, if you know anything that's really good um, and want me to try it out, please do leave it in the comment section and I will be sure to get it and try it out because I do love doing that. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. It really helps me grow on YouTube and there's also a wee bell at the side of the subscribe button where you can hit that and you will get a notification when the next time I upload. So anyway, that's it. That's me finished. So until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.